Well, hello, people. Welcome to the next Senpai. Following the journey, we uncover the best Isekai anime where the main character is overpowered and goes to Magic Academy, trying hard to hide his powers that could change the destiny and clear the fundamental source of conflict in fantasy world. Keeping watching this video and stay awesome. Let's go. Didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? Throughout her life, Misato Kurihara was distinct due to her remarkable persona, living without the pleasures of close friendships or the nuances of a normal life. Upon an unexpected demise, she was shifted to a spiritual domain for reincarnation, coupled with a bonus wish. Yearning for the simple life she'd always dreamed of, she hoped to be reborn with average abilities in her new world. Reborn into nobility as Adele von Aschum, her magical abilities far surpass what one might deem typical. Keen on living the life she envisioned, she departs from her noble surroundings and enrolls in a distant Eklund Academy under the pseudonym Mile while working as a hunter. The protagonist's fondness for Anthros was no secret to the Crimson Vow members. They are noted that there were various levels to Mile's anger where she has no qualms about flexing all of her average. Concealing her immense talents becomes a challenge, especially when she's thrust into unpredictable scenarios. The Aristocrat's Otherworldly Adventure Chain von Silford, a third son of the Aristocrat family, had a high-status board, giving him as he reincarnation to the new world because of his act of bravery in previous life, and then he got divine blessings received from the Seven Pillar God. He was given two missions, develop the political system in the fantasy world, and prepare Cain to become the strongest savior caused by the Dark God will soon awaken to destroy the world. But with great power comes challenges. Chain's magical prowess is so immense that he needs to hide it. But during a casual magical test, he inadvertently reveals his capabilities to his family. He is kind and humble, respecting everyone regardless of their position. Even he wasn't ashamed to be a rookie adventurer and chose to defeat G-level monsters. When he entered the entrance exam of S Fort Royal Academy, he joined the commoner students who looks beginner. Even though he had reduced his strength and pretended to be weak, that was not enough to cover fully aware of Chain's power. So that why it was easy to promote him directly to high level, so he can assign him the most dangerous quests. Reborn as Masterblade During the final moments of Hero King Inglis, he told the goddess he had no regrets about life. He wished for another chance to achieve things he wasn't able to, such as being able to hone his skills to be a warrior. Because of his previous achievements, the goddess granted his wish. The Hero King has reincarnated into a pretty girl and is honing her skills to become the stronger in the new world, retaining her old name Inglis, but also goes under the nickname Chris. When it comes to fighting, wanting to protect and give advice based on her past experiences to guide others, disappointment further solidified her view on refusing any or all promotion. Chris purposely botches her baptism to become a low mana level, so she able to continually hone his hidden skills and not get anyone's attention of her real power. Diffuse the situation by taking the knight's place. She excited to find a powerful opponent but unable to tell anyone else about her preferences. Trapped in Dating Simulator It's a generic izakai concept when young man surrounded by his harem member. But this Otomi game world inexplicably utilizes modern magic into giant robots that have all been implemented in Alzer Academy, which is a serious change of pace for the notoriously great, which is familiar isekai romance and game elements combined into a surprisingly refreshing whole storyline. On top of that, the protagonist Leon Bartford faced societal discrimination due to his third-born status, his noble family's lowly position, and even his freedom of choice. Leon uses his gaming knowledge and experience from his previous life to put himself within reach of a contented, comfortable existence and make sure to have a course of action to avoid the complication, but technically to resolve every problem in this anime with the help of Luxian, the deuteragonist character powered by highly developed artificial intelligence and strategic planning that helps lead to better his decisions. In this realm, firstborns and women make the rules, so Leon must face not a demon king but society itself, 
a whole new kind of challenge where there's no obvious way to win. So he will resort to sneaky ways to get anything that he wants. War God System, I'm counting on you. In a contemporary city, an ordinary young man named An Lin encounters a powerful practitioner who gifts him the God of War techniques and transports him to a spiritual realm for training. Upon his arrival, An Lin joins the United University of Cultivation with a letter of reference from a true God. Initially, he faced mockery at the Holy Stone, where he was branded as the strongest relationship home for displaying confidence without actual power. A true secret is something that is concealed from others. And Lin uses a special system to develop his abilities and overcome this disgrace. A mystical entity called the God's Pet introduces him to unique exercises that rapidly enhance his skills that will change his destiny. And Lin's dedication to growth is evident when he astonishes everyone with his rapid advancement during a challenge in the Thousand Peak Forest. The ridiculous act and cheerful personality, the main character also conceals an unprofound arrogance by flexing his power intentionally. It was became a comical relief and a running. The comedic timing is some of which I have not seen before played out like it has here. The strongest sage with the weakest crest. Once a revered mage known for his immense power and knowledge, the protagonist sought a particular crest to complete his crowning achievement. To acquire his ambition, he reincarnates into the future hoping that destiny will favor him. He's reborn as Matthias Hildesheimer, equipped with the supposed crest of failure, the weakest crest of them all. Regaining his memory as the ancient magician Gaius, he challenged the entrance examination of the Royal Second Academy with his limited power. Full of mistakes in the current magic theory and the fact that the second school is in danger of survival, Matthias cooperated in spreading the correct magic theory with the expectation of non-standard ability. Matthias is exceptional in many fields, especially compared to people in the current era who have suffered from the degradation of knowledge. In the academy, Matthias bonds with other underdog students and those who are looked down upon because of their crests. They form a tight-knit group, training and studying together, unaware of Matthias's true potential. But externally he showcases just enough to pass, purposefully making mistakes and maintaining a mediocre profile. The greatest demon lord is reborn as a typical nobody. After decades of domination, the demon lord Varvatos grows weary due to the loneliness brought about by his overwhelming power. With no real challenge or adversary to match his strength, he decides to reincarnation to start a new life as commoner. Enrolling in the prestigious Laville National Academy of Magic, he decides to mask his unparalleled magical prowess and live as a typical student. Ard strategically uses the minimal amount of magic during matches, often narrowly escaping defeat and his reputation, but it buzzes with rumors about Ard's true identity, with some speculating about his connection to the ancient demon lord Varvatos. Although he's always been a mystery, he was a loner from his school days and struggled to make friends even after reincarnating, often fumbling with words in unexpected and overwhelming situations. The reincarnation of the strongest exorcist in another world. Upon reincarnating, Seika desired to live more cunningly and inconspicuously, compared to when he was regarded as the strongest exorcist in his previous life. He was killed and got traumatizing experiences from the past because he had reached being too powerful, which led him to be betrayed by the people he trusted. So that's why he decided to keep his powers a secret from others in order not to be revealed to seize his happiness. However, Seika starts as a disregarded family member due to having no magic power. His exceptional exorcist skills, remnants from his past life, emerge unexpectedly by the event that forces his abilities to the surface and always surprises everyone around him. Seika is enrolled in a Rodnai Magic Academy to hone his unique skills, but it comes with the challenge of navigating the intricacies of this new world. The shadows of his past and this newfound threat intertwine, pushing Seika to his limits as prophesied hero, building his companions where they would become the next strongest savior in the future world. The Eminence in Shadow Praised for its over-the-top comedy and action, the story follows an ordinary high school student, Chid Kegano, who is the incarnation of only seek to sets up a secret organization called Shadow Garden and begins to work from the shadows to influence the course of events in the world. 
Desiring to further understand this new world and blend in, Chid is gifted with numerous abilities and having an abundance of luck that make him a dangerous threat as he begins to fortify his organization and topple regimes so that he can rise to power. He pretends to be waging a shadow war with an evil organization. For this reason, he has no problems with killing his enemies alone and does so in widely graphic ways using special abilities or trickery. Outside of his activities with his organization, the protagonist is just looks like an average student at Midgur Academy. However, he plays at being weak to not attract any unwanted attention. The loyal harem member joined him to fight evil and give all important access. That can significantly turn any situation in his favor or provide him an advantage to continue role-playing Shadow Garden with them. Tokyo Ravens In this show, Onmyudu has become a big part of Japanese history since they were able to fully use its power during World War II. But as the genius exorcist named Yaku Tsuchimikado betrayed the country of Japan, he wreaked havoc all over the country and is now plagued by demons. This tragic event was coined as the Great Spiritual Disaster. After several have passed, Onmyudu has become far more modern-day Japan and has not everyone is able to utilize the magic as is the case with Harutora Tsuchimikado, who comes from a prestigious Onmyuji family but is born with no magical ability. Harutora felt of himself as a failure and decided to live a regular life instead of keeping a vow to guard Natsume, the heir to the Tsuchimikado family and the purported reincarnation of the genius exorcist. Because of this secret strength, when Harutora becomes Natsume's Shinigami, he can control spiritual energy and accomplish amazing feats. As the story progresses, Harutora becomes involved in a complex web of supernatural events and conflicts. He forms alliances with another student in Onmyu Academy and supernatural beings, and reveals his true power gradually unfolds as he learns to harness his latent abilities. 